Peace, y'all. So it is about 8.30 at night. Um, I got all my, my food prepared here. Um, I'll show you that in a moment. But um, first, I would like to... Um, I was I was listening to the first juice Jews, I'm not sure how to pronounce that of the Quran. Um, which as I hear from Sheikh in Imran Hussein, um the the whole first chapter of Surah Baqarah is to be recited in in one um one setting. So I, I was I listened to the whole Surah Baqarah today and in English and I, I plan to listen to it in Arabic later tonight. Um, but I, I've uh, memorized some of Surah Baqarah, and so I'd like to um, recite uh, the first seven ayats here. So, here goes. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alef la. الكتابُ لا ريب فيه هدى للمتقين الذين يؤمنون بالغيب ويقيمون الصلاة ومن رزقناهم يوفقون والذين يؤمنون بما أنزل إليك وما أنزل من قبلك وبالآخرة يوكنون أولئك أولى خدا من ربهم وأولئك هم المفلحون إن الذين كفروا سواء عليهم أهن درتهم أن لم تنذرهم لا يؤمنون ختم الله على قلوبهم وعلى سمرهم وعلى بصارهم نشاوة ولهم أذاب عظيم So thank y'all for allowing me to do that. Um, also, too, I just have a few ayats um, that I wrote down in English that I'd just like to share as well. So the first one's ayat 22. This is just an excerpt. It's like the first half. It says, He who made for you the earth a bed spread out and the sky a ceiling and sent down from the sky rain, and brought forth thereby fruits as provisions for you. So do not attribute to Allah equals while you know that there is nothing similar to him. So just that um, the rain brought forth fruits as provisions for you. So just take a note that like, that's clearly stated that the fruits are, um, and that are, you know, the food for us. And then the second um, ayat is 61. It says, again, this is just a, uh, oh, this might be the excerpt. It says, um, and recall when you said, O Musa, we can never endure one kind of food. So call upon your Lord and bring forth for us from the earth its green herbs and its cucumbers and its garlic and its lentil and its onions. So that's an excerpt. It keeps going on, but... I, uh, I chose those two to share um, because they deal with um, a, a, a plant-based diet and um, just showing, yeah, just the, that, because um, I know in the Quran it does also speak about, you know, that it's permissible to eat animals and, um, but I was just, just wanted to also emphasize that the um the eating of fruits and vegetables is also um mentioned multiple times so with that um this is what i'm going to be breaking my fast with so this is some oh that's good this is some black walnut tea with uh, nothing added 
and um, just breaking my fast on on liquid since it was like I was doing dry today. So just to get um, a little bit of some li liquids going on. So this is how I'm going to sequence my meal. I'm going to finish drinking this, give that about like 10, 15 minutes. And then I got a few dates here. These are Deglet dates. Um, I got seven of them. So I just have a little bit of that. And then my favorite, I got a half of a honeydew melon. So I'll have that after the dates. And then after that, I got a little a green salad. Looks like it wasn't mixed up the best. Um, it's pretty much, it is, it's just onions, tomatoes, and lemon juice. Um, so pretty simple. Um, I might have a cooked vegetable later tonight, but honestly, I might just, um, kind of stick with this because even, um, yeah, because I'm, I'm feeling pretty good. I just, the one thing I did want to clarify is that in the first video is that, um, not just the importance of like just the first bite that you eat of breaking the fast so like i know that um it is custom to have like some lemon water or some dates or something to first break the fast with however what i was referencing is that while that's a great practice um the best practice is that you stick with um the fruits and green leafy vegetables for the um at least that that's in one minute, like that it wouldn't be consumed with mucus forming food. So the reason I'm making these videos is just to show um, first how to break a fast mucus list. And then also to just that like, we can totally still have plenty of energy um, on mucus less food. There's really no reason um, that we ought to not be eating um, mucus less, but maybe y'all could find some reasons and uh, write them in the comments. But until then, I will see you all in the next one. Thanks for tuning in. And with that, Islam. Salam. Peace.